please shoot the other direction, please. Dang it. It's kind of a lot happening. It's a little bit to keep track of. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to the Slormancer. <laughs> you think she was flirting with us? All right, so we're almost level 10, and we just freed the gold prospector, so now we can actually do something with all the goldus we've been collecting. Hi, handsome. My name is Gemma. I buy and sell all kinds of rare objects. You look like you're getting rich. We should be able to do business. Take a look at my goods. Hi, pretty heart. We've got some top quality goods. What you got? Oh, I can sell? I can sell all these things that I don't... Okay, well this this, this jagged armor is what I want to wear because it's better than the one I had. Alright, so let's sell all of these. Because we've been checking them to see if they're upgrades along the way, and they're not, so we're going to sell them. The fair price. To unlock the equipment sales tab, 5000 To unlock the random container, 15000 Yeah, I think she was trying to sell me something. I don't think she was flirting. Slormites and fragments. Uh, this tab lets you sell items you no longer want. And then this is the buyback tab. Okay. So yeah, five thousand uh, gold is just to, just to be able to shop there. Mm, I think maybe it was both. I'm in a grim mood. That's okay. This is the central square of the graveyard, and the place is full of monsters. We'll have to defend ourselves. Oh, this is a defeat the waves kind of event. Okay. <laughs> a gold digger. I don't remember where I left it. I need a few minutes to remember. Careful, monsters are coming. It's okay. We got this. Maybe it's around here. Or is it there? Archers first, Thranxes. Archers first. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Leveling up. I love all the meta progression. It's like your weapon levels up, your skills level up. Active skill unlocked, arcane barrier, specializations unlocked. Can we can we do it now? Can I look at all this now? So the first thing I want to do is take the extra um, bonus mana from the zeal. Yeah. Did my Slorm Reaper get anything cool at level 5? Oh, look, it tells you how many victims. Um, where's my skills? Yes. Versatile and spectacular, become a devoted scholar. Key mechanics. Okay, strengths. Maximum mana, thorns, crowd control. High damage, critical strikes, mana regeneration. Defense, retaliation, mana restoration. Arcane clone. Now that sounds fun, but... Drop arcane thingies, wait, loot, repeat. Right on. Take it easy, madman. Explosions, damages, offense only. I've, I mean, as much fun as a, as an arcane clone sounds. A temporal clone is a dumb version of yourself that cannot do much. A remnant skill is a weaker and older version of it that does not benefit from regular upgrades. I don't. I do not understand. The mischievous mage excels at getting the best out of every action. Uses the temporal cloning to distract his foes while swiftly getting himself out of danger to prepare for the deadliest spells. I'm hoping it's easy enough to switch. Oh, no, no, no. So this is the big ability you get. Time warp. 
cooldown cost summon a temporal clone where you're currently stand and instantly teleport towards target location that's kind of cool where you can create a barrier caught projectiles are shot back towards target location oh that sounds like fun a wall of omen slows down enemies Gotta go with explosions and offense. So you can switch. Yeah, so you can switch at any time. I love that freedom. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just going to stop for a second and say, every game needs to be paying attention. Let me switch at any time, please. That's exactly 100% what I'm talking about. Okay, so... I did not really expect that to happen that way. Yeah, specializations. Yep. Okay, okay. That's no problem. We're going to take the archers out first. So this is how I think we do this. Watch this. Boom. Yep. And then... Oh, so they kill... They kill the Temporal Clone if they hit it. That's no problem. Because I can... Oh, it does have a cooldown. Okay, okay, okay. It is nice being able to distract them, though. Although I feel like that ability is less... Offense? Like the specialty made it sound? Ooh, hold on, I got battle pads. Mm, no. No. Nope. We'll stick with what we got. Ooh, ouch! Okay, okay. Get rid of the archers, please. I do like that ability a lot, so... Look at all that fun! Wasn't that fun? That felt really good. Okay, 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 cool down. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't go don't go ahead on me. I wanna see what my and a support skill. Change your specialization at any point. Yeah, that's fine. Show me the book mastery. What did we get? Inner fires and overdrives triggered, triggered by book smash deal additional damage. 10% of your thorns damage. Inner fire. Your resolution is so strong it takes a physical form rotating around you dealing raw damage to enemies. You can have five inner fires at any point in time. Excess of power in your melee takes shape and targets up to two nearby enemies. I mean... It's the only one, really, that we have access to for now, so we'll put a point in it. Um, I'm tempted to... This is going to make this cost more mana, though. Oh, snap. Yeah, I don't like this. Hold on. Ranged. Go bye-bye. Read my poetry. Ooh, green battle bracers. I saw that. Hold on. Attack speed and bonus attack speed, but it's not as good as the raw damage. But we have 19 raw damage. Yeah, I'm not using those. Alright, so this... There we go.
Wave 9. Good luck. Ooh, that's a lot of arrows. Yeah, I kind of... I need to remember to put the mouse where I want to teleport. Because I'm like, I'm holding the direction I want to teleport instead of putting the mouse where I want to teleport. Okay. What do we get? That's 20 raw damage. I'll wear that. Nope. Nope. Uh, how many waves? Oh, it goes up to 12. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I thought that was going to be some crazy elite. Nope. All right. Okay. Yikes. So we can just keep dropping books on everybody. The thing is, when you use the Ray of Obliteration at low mana with that mastery point that I took, it's, it does sick damage. Because it's based off of your missing mana. I like that a lot. No, not you again. Crap. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Please. <laughs> no! No! Stop it! Oh. <laughs> come on, let me get you out of here. Gosh darn it. It had to happen eventually. That one with the triple arrow is tough. Because if you run at full speed you catch the outer arrows and if you stand still you get caught by the middle arrow so you have to you have to sidestep just enough but not too much ah dark is the night oh drat that was that was difficult That's okay. It was bound to happen eventually. It's not going to help if I take unnecessary hits like that, though. I need to stay focused and, like, stay focused and not give up easy damage early on. And, of course, leveling up always helps. Mm. That's movement speed. Attack speed. Um... Let's go back to putting points into willpower. Yep, just gotta stay moving. And not let that happen. Not that. There we go. Problem is that teleport is pretty mana intensive. Which I get it, it's a teleport. Uh 
All right. The extra level is going to make all the difference. You watch. There we go. There we go. That's how we do it right there. We don't need maximum mana if we have high damage. We just got to kill this stuff faster, right? Okay, okay. Let's easy on the ray of obliteration while we've got ranged out still. Look at how much damage that book does when... Because you, cause you get the damage from the book and you get the damage from the mana you're draining. Okay, I did not need to take that hit, though. That was a little sad. And I noticed the uh, the the temporal clone has a has a very short limit on like how much it taunts. It's got to be fairly close, relatively. I'll take a book on your head. How about some of that? All right. Okay. Oh, there's an archer. I see you. A couple of them. Stop letting them shoot you. Franxes. Okay. We're doing we're doing better. I, I absolutely have more health at this stage than last time, I believe. No, maybe not. Okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a big fan of that ray. Go, mana, go. We need more. Regen! Regen, please. I like that that guy's not a bigger deal. It's tough sometimes trying to figure out if the book is the the better option or the ray when there's down to one or two. All right, we're doing it. A lot of archers on this one. So let's try some teleporting nonsense. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. Please shoot the other direction, please. Dang it. It's kind of a lot happening. It's a little bit to keep track of. Problem is, now we're down to uh, half health. I'm not really excited about that. Oh my gosh, please. Teleport. Ugh, yep, yeah, yeah, come on. Ugh, yeah, that, that one keeps getting me. Right, what we need is a teleport. Come on. No! <laughs> oh, man. So, <laughs> maybe all damage uh, starts to have a limitation. Max life. See, I don't want to. Maximum mana sounds good with armor. Mm 
Let's let's look for a second here. Because is this really No, see that's not really where we want to be. And this is still Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, we have mastery here. We have not been utilizing. Okay. Whenever you cast a skill, you're refunded 3% of its mana cost after a short delay. Could be fun. Extra critical strike damage. Extra slorm find. I'm like, give me back my mana, please. Twelve percent mana cost. Uh, it's pretty important. Right, so we're gonna get twelve percent of our mana cost back. Uh, I mean, it's bound to help a little bit. We also could consider maybe changing our specialty. Perhaps this isn't really where we want to be in life. Maybe. Create a barrier that catches projectiles. That's maybe where we want to be, right? Because we're having trouble with projectiles. Let's shake it up a little bit. No, I don't want that. I don't want whenever enemies steal damage. Book smash. Additional chrono. Plus 13% damage over time. So do I have to channel this? No. It cools down fast. Let's, let's just see what happens here. Okay, so you do have to channel it. Um, that's kind of cool, except the cooldown doesn't... Uh, that's a little underwhelming to me. What was this one? Create a wall of omen that slows enemies and projectiles down. Let's try this one. Actually, I kind of like that one. Let's let's try that again here. Let's Oh yeah, look at that. I'm a fan of that. Let's let's stick with this one for a little bit. Right. We should have messed around with each of these before we decided. Enemies passing through are dazed. Area increased size. Straight maximum mana. Yeah, just give me more mana. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? That's that's 100% what I need right there. Although I... I like the idea of the other one teleporting around and leaving clones, but until I get a little better at dodging these projectiles, I think we're just gonna we're gonna stick with this one. Cuz it also slows them down while they walk through it, which I'm a big fan of. Let's check this one out. Nope, I don't like that. Uh, wait a second. This says it has life regeneration. So it's going to take off our raw damage, but yeah, now our health is regenerating? Okay. I accept these terms.
Yeah, look at that. That's okay. I dare say we've found our our corner here. I'm I'm feeling much better about this one. Yeah, I agree. This is this is now we're doing it properly. Um, hold on, I want to slow people down like this. Yeah, so we did give up a little bit of damage. I can already tell the difference, but that life regen is sick because now we're already back up to full health. So it's like damage forgiveness. Like you can take a hit and it doesn't matter. As long as you can avoid being hit for a little bit after that. All right, let's do this. Look, they try to peek around the barrier, though. There we go. Okay. Still back at full health. I like that. There we go. Nope. One of these. Okay. That makes me feel much better. Absolutely got to keep that life regen going. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, the slow arrows, you still have to dodge them, Thranxes. <laughs> I'm just, like, watching them crawl and hit me in the face. Yeah, I'm feeling much better about it this time, because we're at full health, even. Oh, that's that's our mana. Oh no. Regen. Yeah, so the wave is on a timer too, so even if I don't kill everybody and I just kind of kite, yeah, the next wave starts coming. Right. If we just keep running in a and dropping books, we should be fine. Ooh, Wall of Omen Mastery. Hello. You have 18% extra movement speed for five seconds whenever I pass through the Wall of Omen. Ooh. Arcane Bond deals 20% increased damage if affected enemy is within a two-yard radius from you. That's kind of fun, because that's the one we get from our book. 13% tenacity. Uh, what's tenacity? Is that one of our skills? Mm, it's not. Uh, it doesn't tell me what tenacity is. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take the increased damage from the book and more mana yes all right hold on we got a green let's look at it attack speed critical strike chance and mana leech i think we need to start transitioning to these greens even if they don't look like they're as good i think we should start doing it Okay. Alright. 
And we're into the last wave, and we're full health. Let's let's do this. I wish I had the teleport too, though. <laughs> Dang it! Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, that helps a lot. Ah, dang it. I'm still catching the max travel ones, though. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. It's all right. <laughs> what a difference. 90% projectile speed slow is pretty significant. There we go. Wow, that was almost easy by comparison. Of course, having an extra level or two helps. You're going to laugh. I remember now. I brought my shovel compass repair kit back to the village a few days ago, so it's in my cabin. Oh, you silly gravekeeper. Okay, so that, that was kind of challenging. That was probably the first real challenge since we started playing. Feels like a measurement of your grasp of the skills and how well they work together because we were definitely not doing well earlier. It's all good. I got my kit back and I made some repairs. Now we just have to reach the crypt and unearth the destroyer of indestructible and unbreakable seals. It's at the far end of the graveyard, though, so let's get going. Now, I don't doubt that we couldn't have made the other build work, uh, but it was definitely higher level difficulty. Top quality goods. Um, let's just sell everything once we know we don't need it. I will take the higher mana regen over the maximum mana, actually. All right, and then we're just going to sell. I hope you had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. Until next time, take care.